Hi everybody my followers, welcome to another video. So if you follow my videos, you know the work I've been doing on this Volkswagen Golf uh, Plus 2006 uh, with the, the 1.9 TDI engine, engine code BXE. So I will leave the link in the description below uh, for the for the work I've been doing on this um, and watch that video until the end because it was a was a twist at the end of the video. <laughs> so, but I, I at, the, at the end of the video, I mentioned something about the torsion uh, that was not within the specifications, and uh, I would make a separate video for it uh, if I had to. Uh, so, yes. So the engine, I've been warming up the engine. Uh, the engine is now at uh, 70 degrees, pretty much, 68 degrees. Uh, as you can see from the needle, the, from the needle in there as well. So uh, it shows nearly 19 there, but so uh, 70 degrees pretty much. And uh, as you can see in there, my torsion is still stuck at 4.4. Uh, this value here, the torsion value, uh, it shouldn't be. It should range between minus three and plus three. Anything within that range is okay. Uh, it should, although, be as close as zero as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to adjust uh, the the timing, basically, if that makes sense. Uh, and we're going to try to move it uh, to adjust it to bring this value uh, a little bit more into the specs. So I'm going to show you roughly how that's done, uh, and hopefully we'll see a uh, change on this value here, um, the, the out 70 degrees. I would say the engine is warmed up. Uh, when I accelerate, just jump to 4.9. Look at that. You see? So, uh, so yeah. So we're gonna try to adjust that, and I'll show you how. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna explain you how this is done. Uh, so this is the sprocket for the for the camshaft which is secured on a inner sort of pull inside by these three bolts here. These three bolts, they are on this oval uh, kind of opening. So you can lose these three bolts and then you can adjust uh, these, you can move this outer pulley without moving the actual camshaft. And that's how you adjust the timing on this. There's proper tools to put in here on this tooth opening here so you can actually see how much you are moving we're not going to do that uh, I can see from these uh, bolts here that as you can probably see the pull is all the way backwards so we're going to move it a little bit that way and uh, see what see see if that improves so I'm gonna loosen these bolts here you don't need to take them off it just get them loose that's it. For now, I'm just gonna okay. They are losing. There it is. Job done. Now you would have to have some proper tools to move this pulley. Uh, I don't have the tools. So I'm gonna move that somehow by hand. Uh, how I'm gonna move this? Uh, just hold a second. Okay, so I should be able to do this by moving the inner pulley. Uh, no, the other way. By moving this one. There we go, you see? You've seen it moving? But I wanna go the other way, I think. You don't need, that's it, you don't need to move a lot, so as you can see, I moved just a little bit. I don't know if you can see the marks where the bolt was and where it is now. So we're gonna tighten this up again. I'm not gonna tighten this to spec yet, because I wanna try first. And then I will tie this to, to the right specs. But for now, I'll just do 25 Newton meters, like this. That's it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, that should do for now. Just to have a go. It's gonna put the intake pipe back on. And we'll see if we have any change on our values. We should do. Okay, let's gonna try. It's gonna start the engine, make sure it starts okay. Oops. Okay, I think we moved way too much. So that's another way. So it's the other way probably. Okay guys, job done. Um, you might hear the, the engine is a little bit noisy because I never put the intake pipe uh, back in place uh, for now. Uh, it took me like 10 attempts to get this as close as possible to zero and as you can see in there now the torsion value is 0 0.5 so even when I accelerate now I'm nearly at the maximum adjustment so that belt is it needs to be changed it looks like the belt is stretched uh, these uh, PD engines the, the the timing belt takes a little bit of extra effort because of the way he charges uh, the the pressure inside the injectors and everything, so there's a lot of pressure on this. There's a lot of tension. Uh, there's a lot of stress put into this timing belt. So this timing belt, it looks to me that it's stretched. It's going to have to be changed at some point. But uh, we managed to get that close to zero. So 0 0.5. I'm happy with that. Uh, as you saw before, it was minus 4.4. It took me 10 attempts because I don't have the tools. So when you've seen that uh, kind of a toothed half moon sort of, there's a hole behind that and what you're supposed to do is, is a kind of a cock that you put in there and then you turn uh, the angle you want and that just turns everything the way it should be turned. Without the tools it's a little bit of, uh, you know, try, fail and try, try and fail until you get it right. But we got it right. Um, at the right torsion and that's it guys just was a really quick video just to show you how you can adjust the timing on these engines um, that's why you need obviously you need a scan tool to see how far you are um, and like I said already you should be somewhere between zero uh, minus three and plus three we are at 0 0.5 positive that's more than okay I'm gonna show you that the engine starts brilliantly first time if you watch my other video uh, you've seen how it would take a little bit longer to start uh, but yeah it's spot on so hope you enjoyed the video guys um, any comments suggestions just put them below and like always thank you so much for watching just a very quick thing to um, that I was nearly forgetting uh, the torque for the bolts for those three bolts we are, we are losing uh, obviously I'm gonna now put them back to the right torque the torque is 25 Newton meters okay so just that piece of information uh, you might not gonna get this far in the video but uh, and you're gonna ask me probably in the comments but just uh, a quick one just to let you know the torque so we're gonna do that now